How's it going guys, it's Junkie here, and since so many of you asked, we went ahead and installed another custom ROM here on the Redmi Note 3 Pro. So, this is, yes, CM13. So, uh, let me show you what we're working with. I like to come into settings just to show everybody what, what we're on. So, right here, Redmi Note 3 or 3 Pro, it doesn't matter. Pro's kind of like a little add-on on the end, it just means you have better specs. But it's the same device. So, you can see we're working. Very nice, Android 6.0.1. So basically, the latest and the greatest are here on Saijin Mod. So that's awesome, all right? So it does have all this Saijin Mod features. It does have a couple different launchers it comes with. You can either do the Google Now launcher or Trebuchet launcher. I prefer Google Now. That's what I've got it set to. Um, there are some status bar tweaks you can do, you know, changing your clock position, for example, putting it in the center, you know, the standard basic Saijin Mod stuff. It does come with a theme engine, which is awesome absolutely love it and to get root access on here basically what you need to do is you need to turn on developer options and the way you do that is you go into the build number and you just tap on it until it says you're a developer and then you come in here to developer options so many people don't see this I'm going to show you how to install it but figure out to do this review first to kind of show you what you got right here you want to you want to click on that and then choose um, ADB and apps okay and then the other thing that's hard to figure out is how do you manage root access on this device? So it's a little bit hidden. Basically, you got to come into privacy and then you go privacy guard and you come up here and you hit advanced. And then if you swipe all the way over, you will see the applications that have root access. Currently, my file manager has root access. So CM13 does have root access built in. That's how you turn it on. That's how you manage it instead of using SuperSU. You could always flash SuperSU in recovery and have SuperSU if you wanted, but if you just want to use the built in one, that's basically how you do it. There will be pop ups and stuff, and you grant root access just like anything. Um, other than that, let's just kind of show you a little bit. I mean, obviously, you have all your toggles here. I rearrange these a little bit, but uh, some different tweaks you can do. Pretty cool theme engine right here. Go in there, download some other cool themes. You can do awesome stuff with the theme engine. So that's really, really awesome. And then applications it comes with. So you have Auto, Audio FX, a basic browser. Things I like to point out are like the file manager right there. Let's see if I can show it to you again. The file manager, that's CM file manager, FM radio, very nice. Now, because this was made for the Redmi Note, they did leave things in like the MI remote for the IR blaster, which is awesome. Big thumbs up for that. Um, there's some screen recording features, smartly me, whatever that is, something that has to do with MI UI, I'm sure, or the Redmi Note 3. Um, there's a music application, so just some things that were kind of hand picked and cherry picked from MI UI so the fun device doesn't lose functionality, which I think is awesome. Um, and the Google applications may vary depending on what um, G apps you uh, install, but this is what I picked and that's what I've got going. Now, from what I've seen, everything does function quite well. Here's a camera and it is working. So, very, very nice. This is a smooth, fluid, fluid device. I am really, really liking it. Got wallpapers. Oh, there's the even like Nexus wallpaper. Nice. Whoa, yeah. Man, that looks slick. So, anyway, this is basic overview, CM13. If you haven't seen it before, this is what it is. I really love this on the device. It's very, very nice and very customizable. Um, so definitely digging it. But, uh, yeah, very, very cool. Balance mode, you also have performance settings. So if you want to do battery saver, balance performance, you can go ahead and do that. It'll make everything run faster but not consume as, or not save as much battery life. So... But yeah, like I said, fully functional. Now, you want to know how to get this installed on your device. So what you're going to do is you're going to download some files. I'm going to link everything in the video description down below, so definitely check those out. Um, and actually, I think my brightness is too high, so we'll turn that back down. This is just asking me to allow some things. Um, so we've got everything downloaded. We're going to go into our SD card and then downloads. I would down every, download everything in your device here. Now, currently, mine are in storage I think it's on the drive yep right there and then CM13 folder so this is everything I've got on my device and basically the things that I like to point out that are important here is the CM13 ROM 
the CM13 camera fix. For some reason, the camera doesn't work unless you flash that. And then the Google, app leash, uh, Google apps that you want to install, the open apps. And I'll link, like I said, I'll link you to all this. But make sure you have these on your device, whether internal, external, and know where they are on your device. All right, so if you've done that, let's go ahead and show you how to install this. Oh, well, that's interesting. There's this little uh, Super SU below pop up in the top. Not sure what that's about, but whatevs. So to install this on your device, it's very simple. You basically power off the phone. Now, if you have a custom ROM installed, you could do something like this, reboot to recovery, which is awesome. It's an awesome feature here in CM. But since we're gonna say like, like you don't, maybe you're on MIUI, um, whatever it is, as long as you have, unlike bootloader, you have Torp uh, Recovery installed, which I've done previous videos on, so if you haven't seen those, check those out, then this is gonna be how to boot into Torp and install this ROM. So you hold volume up and power, and as soon as you see the MI logo, let go of power, keep holding volume up, and this will boot the device right into Torp Recovery. There it is, Team Win Recovery Project. And then to install a custom ROM, the first thing you always wanna do, always, is go ahead and do a backup. So make sure everything's selected, swipe across to make this an Android backup. Now, I've got some of those already on my device right here, so I'm not gonna worry about making a backup. I did one very recently, just the other day. So once you got your, your backup, which will probably take about 10 minutes, depending on your size, then you wanna go into wipes. Go ahead and wipe data factory, reset the device, and go back. This creates a clean slate so that the ROM will install correctly. And then you're gonna go to installs. You're gonna click on the CM13 ROM. Then you're gonna add a zip. You're gonna click on the Google applications. You're gonna add a zip. And you're gonna click on the camera fix. So now you're flashing three different zips and they'll flash sequentially. Right up here it says three of max of 10 files queried. So, or queued, I don't know how to say that word. I hate those words. Anyway, so basically you're just gonna go ahead and swipe across and this will install CM13. It'll make sure your camera's working. It'll give you a whole ton of Google applications. And that's really it. Once it's done, you reboot the device and you're good. You have CM13 on your device, latest Android version, Android Marshmallow 6.0.1, and this thing is rock solid. Now, also, I did read up, and it does say the camera, uh, the fingerprint sensor on the back does function on CM13. I've not tested it myself, but everybody on XD is reporting that it is functional on this ROM, which is awesome. So, like I said, we have IR Blaster, we have fingerprint sensor, basically all functionality from what I've seen is working on CM13. It is unofficial but very functional, which is awesome. So I'm gonna let this finish flashing, and basically what's gonna happen is you'll just hit reboot system now, you'll see the boot animation, and you'll, you'll be done. Let the thing boot up, go through the login process, and you're rocking it. Now, I always like to point this out. If you have a problem on boot up, boot up will take eh, probably 10 minutes, because normally what happens is it has to create the files, get everything going, um, and then it's got to do Android is upgrading and go through that process and update a hundred applications and get them ready to rock and then it boots up. It just, it, it's a long process. So be, be ready for that. Um, so our system ROM install has finished up here. And the next thing it does is it goes into flashing the open gaps right there. You can see them and those will, will all install and that takes a little bit and then it'll do the camera fix. But um, yeah, moving wider along. Just got to tell you guys, the development on the Redmi Note 3 Pro is amazing. I absolutely love it. There's so many ROMs available, so much good stuff. We'll go ahead and reboot. Um, it's just, yeah, for the price of this device, I've seen it, this, the Redmi Note 3 Pro, for as low as $170 online. This thing has US LTA bands in it. It works on US carriers. I mean... The pricing is amazing. It's 4,000 milliamp hour battery. The camera is probably its weak point. It's just not a great camera. I mean, it's acceptable, especially if you're outside or in good lighting. Low lighting, it's just not great. I mean, if you're used to something like the S7, well, yeah, obviously it's not going to compare to that. But if you need a budget phone for the pricing, it, this thing is solid. Battery life is great. So anyway, here it is. Saijima logo or boot animation, I guess you would say. We're booting up, so we're just going to let it go through, and that's going to be it. That's going to be the install of CM13 here on the Redmi Note 3 Pro. 
Hope you guys like this video, let this thing boot up, and you'll be enjoying this ROM as well. Stay tuned for more videos, guys, on this device and many others. Check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out. <laughs>